all know that exercise is important. And when you're pregnant, exercise has been shown to be beneficial for both mom and baby. Princeton Club group exercise manager, personal trainer, and mom of, I can't even do all nine fingers because I'm holding <laughs> but nine kids. Priscilla Peterson is going to show us some safe and effective exercises that you can do while you're pregnant and right after you deliver. So just remind everybody why exercise is important during pregnancy. You know, there's a lot of benefits um, why we should stay active during pregnancy. I think a lot of women feel like this is a time to become inactive and mm -hmm. kind of lounge. Um, it's actually one of the best times to maintain your activity. And again, I'm saying this, of course, under um, doctors, okay, sure, of course. normal and healthy pregnancy. But we want to remain active. There's a lot of reasons. Um, number one, it's going to help reduce back pain, swelling. It's going to help with your sleep. It's going to help with uh, maintaining a healthy weight gain during your pregnancy. And best of all, it's good for the baby. Yeah, and why is it good for the baby? So studies have shown and experts suspect that if you exercise on a regular basis during your pregnancy, so let's say um, 20 to 30 minutes at a time, four yeah. to five times a week, it actually helps with the fetal neural development, which mm -hmm. is the baby's brain power. And when they've done studies on these um, pregnant mothers who exercise and then on the toddler, the baby, when it mm -hmm. becomes a toddler later on, these toddlers, their speech and language development, it um, performs and excels at, a, at a higher level. That's great. Yeah. So give some women out there who, may, who maybe are pregnant or maybe they're thinking of becoming pregnant, what are some of the best exercise options? I would um, suggest if you're doing any kind of aerobic activity, keeping it low impact, mm -hmm. indoor cycling, um, swimming, uh, brisk walking. You can jog until the point where you feel off balance or you just get to that point where it's not comfortable. Then you definitely need to reduce it. And actually, um, strength training. And let's talk about strength yeah. training because that might be one that people go, oh my gosh, yeah. I don't know how to incorporate that. So give us some examples of some exercises. Okay. So I have the stool here. Um, and I'm gonna, I would, I'll help yep, you out by yep. demonstrating. Um, I would actually, if we were in the gym, you'd be on a weight bench or a okay. stability ball. Um, but I suggest doing as many of your strength training exercises while pregnant seated mm -hmm. because it's not putting any pressure on the pelvic floor okay. and we don't need that undue stress during this time. So one exercise you could do seated is just your uh, bicep, bicep curls. curls, a traditional bicep curl. That looks awesome. Yep, stay nice and tall, chest lifted, back long. Nice. Okay, Good. what's another option? Um, overhead shoulder press. So just take those dumbbells. Yep. Press straight up overhead, come back to a 90 degree angle, and up. So you said four to five times down. a week to exercise. Yeah. So you would maybe do weight training? I would do weight, weight training two to three times, but okay. I would do cardio, some type of cardio, every time during And we're running out of time. I sessions. want to make sure I yeah. get in that you're starting a class, yeah. a Mama Fit class. Let's get mm -hmm. that info up really quickly. It starts on September 14th, yep. six-week session at Princeton Club West. How do people sign up for this? You can sign up at our front desk. It's a 45-minute session. I will be focusing exercises onto expectant mothers, um, just helping them gain a nice, healthy, fit pregnancy. And with new moms, getting their body back. Awesome. Priscilla, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Absolutely. We'll be right back after this.